Hello YouTube, Asuma here with another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build this counter system that I've designed using the lockable repeaters feature. And what this does is it gives you a series of outputs that you can cycle through by pressing this button which is our input. So when I press that you'll see that the next output will be selected. Press it again and when you reach the end and you press it once more it just cycles back round to the beginning. So the way that this works is we have all of these uh, repeaters at the front here are powered and they're locking the repeaters in front of them. Now this is the only one that's turned on and it's powering the block in front of it which makes it the output from our counter and when we press the input we're going to turn off these repeaters for a short amount of time in which the power from that block is going to transfer into the next repeater. So I'll press the button and you can see that in action and then the next output is selected. So what I've done over here is I've made the same circuit, I've just put the wire underneath so you can see it is flexible if you needed more space or wanted to wire it a different way depending on uh, how much space you have then that's possible and then over here I've added this really big array of them which actually works um, if I press this you can see it cycles and I have tested it it will cycle all the way to the end and back round to the beginning again and the reason that I made this is because I thought that perhaps after using a few repeaters to extend the signal that there would be too much delay for it to get transferred all the way back down again um, but that works with it at that distance I'm sure no one's ever going to use that um, with that many outputs but there you go I have tested it um, I'm not sure if you can put any more repeaters on it but I kind of got bored of <laughs> continuously building these uh, but enough rambling about that let's get on to the tutorial to build this you're going to need these resources first of all we have six building blocks three redstone two redstone torches two repeaters and a button and that is for the input that's the pulse shortener I'll explain how that will work in a moment then to build four outputs you need 31 blocks of iron 19 redstone four redstone torches and then eight repeaters now for every other output that you want to add uh, you'll need seven blocks of iron, four redstone, one torch and two redstone repeaters and bear in mind the further along you go you're going to need some extra redstone repeaters to extend the signal. We're going to start off by placing four blocks in a row and we're going to put some redstone on top with a repeater and that's going to be our output. And what we're building here is the pulse shortener so you need to place some blocks like this and put redstone torches on them that's going to keep the output powered and then put this repeater here in the middle like that and a button on the side so when we press this button we're going to unpower one torch but this will remain powered there's going to be a delay before the other torch turns off and then the output is going to be off for a short moment of time and then the first one is going to turn back on again now what you want to do is place seven blocks in a row put redstone on top of all of that and then put two blocks behind the first one and then every other block place two blocks and put a redstone repeater facing forward on each of these and then on these ones place them facing this way and set them to the full delay. So we've built the counter system but you may notice that nothing happens when you press this button and that's because you need to put some power in the circuit first of all. So if we remove that and place it with a redstone torch then when we press the button we're going to power up the first input and then we can remove this and now your circuit is ready to use. So that is it for this tutorial. There is a map download in the description box for this world right here. So thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.